today we will see how to uh, create a label using interface builder right so yesterday we have seen how to create a project today we will see how to create a label inside a project right so so again i am going to create a new project go to the finder applications then select the xcode 6.1 so create new xcode project and uh, under ios we have application select this select single view application click on the next now my project name is what label right we are learning how to create a label right so example i can say what example label yeah. right and the company name is durgasoft organization is com.durgasoft.app after that we have a language selection we can select the zip or we can go for objective zip then next create this project on the desktop where yeah. on the desktop select the desktop and click on what create button right so now project is created right so there are two ways to create a label so before creation of the label we will learn how to create a label mean how to create a label and when to create a label for example if we want to display single line statement like welcome or multi line statement whether it is two line statement or three line statement we need to use a component called what ui label ui means user interface label right so now we will see how to create a ui label in the storyboard file where in the storyboard file and this is what your view this is the your view that is going to be appear when you run on the run the application right so now <coughs> select this view here you can see infinite size or you can go for iphone 5.5 or 4 in screen so that it will it decreases the size this is a iphone 4.7 screen right now if you observe here we have many number of things here all these are called what objects if you select this this is called what show the object library from the object library you can search for what ui label what is that ui label what is that ui label correct so from this one just click it and drag and drop it what is this drag and drop it so we want we can increase this size like this width and height is what i am increasing i am decreasing right so like this you can increase Right. Same way, if you observe here, there is a title called label. What is that? Title called label. Instead of label, I want to mention what? Welcome. What is that? Welcome. Select this label. Select this attribute inspector. Here the title is what? Label. Instead of this, you can type what? Welcome. Welcome. Right? Welcome is there. If you want to change the font size, just increase it. Decrease it. Increase it. Like this, you can increase. Same way, alignment, align center, align right, align justification. Like this. How many number of lines? Only online only. Right. So now, if you come to here, line break mode. This is what line break mode. Line break mode is nothing but whenever we your text is more than the width of your text is more than the width of your component, then by default line is going to be end at what. At the end, it is called line break mode. For example, if you type something like this, you see dot 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 what at the end. That is called tile truncation. What is that truncation tile? If you don't want tile truncation, you can go for middle truncation, so that you will see the dot dot at the middle. Same way, clip. What is going to be clip? Just see. Same way. Head truncation, truncate head like this. So generally we will use what trial truncation, truncate trial. So this is very very important property in the line break. So don't need to about worry about the remaining views, right? Remaining properties, right? So one is what font size, one more is what title, one more is what color. If you want to change your text color, you can change like this green, right? If you want to change the background color of component. Go to here the view properties. In the view properties we have here. This is view. In the in this under this view we have background color. We can change it to any other color. We can go for like this, or we can change it to some other color, mixed color red, like this also. We can change. Right. So now run this application. Now run this application. 
and we can select the iPhone 6 or iPhone 4 whatever it is iPhone 5 for example iPhone 5 click on run button we will see this welcome over there welcome over there so here what we learn how to drag and drop the label and how to change the font color of the label how to change the background color of the label and the font size right now I don't want to start the label from here I want to start the label from somewhere here right so now how to change that go to the view select the view so now we have changed the title and background color in the attributes inspector same way we have one more inspector called what size inspector what is that size inspector what is that size inspector here you can see the view select the label here you can see x position and y position x position is this and y position is this that means x and y positions are with respect to what parent x and y positions are what with respect to parent width and height is with respect to the component width and height is what with respect to the component width if you want to increase you can increase to 150 see increase you don't want to start it from 128 change it to 40 it will go to the left side like this if you want to move it to up change it to 30 it will go to the up you want to change the height change the height like this you can change here or else you can click it you can drag and drop like this also both are available right this is called what size inspector in the size inspector what we can do you can change the height and width and x and y position this is called what frame frame contains how many values four values x y width and height x and y are with respect to what parent width and height is itself to the component who is the parent here this is a parent main view inside of this view we have what label for example i want to drag one more label select it drag and drop here right so now you can see here like this right so now here we have what you can change what label to i can change what durga soft i can add what durga soft right so file truncation now run this application you can see two labels on the screen so welcome some name durga soft right so this is the way to create what label in the interface builder so here we need to understand what some properties of the label where we can change the properties of the label select the label go to what this is utility area if it is not there select it you will come you will get the utility area this is what attribute inspector this is size inspector i will use this attribute inspector attribute is nothing but property so text style is what plain we want to attribute you can go for like this also you can see some change over here right so generally we will use what plain only right plain only so text color is what here we give yellow this is the text so font color is what font 24 helvetica if you want to change that you can change also so instead of helvetica you want to give something go to here change the helvetica whatever it is courier we can change courier courier will be like this right so and regular or bold whatever it is bold or regular if you want bold you can go for bold also it will be looking like this right so this is about how to change the font colors and this is about line and one more property is what important property is what line break mode generally you will lose what trial truncation whenever your data is more like this at the end you will get what dot 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 so generally trial truncation if you want to change you can change this right so and now <coughs> now you can ask what is this property fixed font size right so you can go for minimum font size minimum font size for example we can set it for what 11 or 10 whenever your text is going to be increased then font size is going to be decreased up to 10 highest font size is what 25 for example if you reduce this font size is going to be increased automatically you see this is much right so if you type much font size is decreased still decreasing so up to how much it decreases up to 10 pixels minimum is 10 based on your font number of characters 
if the number of characters is not fit into the width it will decrease the font size if you select it auto string is what minimum font size if you don't want to decrease select the fixed size then it won't decrease it will take a font size like this right so you understand the auto sync also right well come so this is the basics about what label right so same way we can create the label using objective c code also that we will see in the next section